We are going to focus on something super important, blockchain wallets. Not just any wallet, we are talking about MetaMask. It's a stand out for incredible developer support and seamless integration across platforms. We will also peek into the blockchain architecture to see how MetaMask, Infura and our dApp all come together. So join me as we explore MetaMask and everything around it. I will guide you through setting it up in your Android app with some hands-on coding. So let's get started. Let's simplify how a dApp connects to the blockchain. This process involves some specialized helpers to ensure everything runs smoothly. First, think of Infura as the backbone. It's a powerful tool that gives you easy access to the Ethereum blockchain. With Infura, you don't need to have to deal with the complexity of running a full node yourself. It's like having a direct line to the blockchain. Next, there is MetaMask. It's a bridge that links your dApp to the Ethereum blockchain. MetaMask handles complex tasks such as account authentication, transaction signing, and interacting with smart contracts. This makes it incredibly straightforward for developers to work with Ethereum, streamlining the entire process from the user's interaction to the blockchain. Infura managed the backend communication with the blockchains, while MetaMask simplified the front-end user interactions. This communication ensures a powerful and user-friendly environment for dApps. Alright, let's dive into how you can integrate MetaMask into our dApp. We are keeping things straightforward today. You don't need a fully implemented application with a deployed smart contract. Just a simple application will be enough to make the connection with MetaMask. To give you a solid grasp of what's happening behind the scene when integrating MetaMask to your dApp, especially for Android user, I will walk you through two key diagrams from the MetaMask website. These visuals provide a clear understanding of the architecture and communication flow, highlighting how MetaMask connects your dApp to the Ethereum blockchain and ensures secure interactions. The first diagram outlines the MetaMask architecture, illustrating the seamless bridge it creates between dApp and users' Ethereum accounts. This connection is facilitated through the MetaMask SDK, which supports interaction via MetaMask browser extension or mobile app. The SDK plays a crucial role in enabling your dApp to communicate with Ethereum network. It allows your app to send requests to MetaMask, which then, if necessary, uses services like Infura to retrieve data from the blockchain. This architecture ensures that dApps can easily and securely interact with Ethereum accounts, making blockchain technology more accessible and usable across different platforms. Moving on to the second diagram, we dive into the specifics of MetaMask Android SDK, which details the interaction between your Android dApp and MetaMask. This setup begins with your app initiating a deep link to MetaMask through getting the Android native module. The core of this process involves generating public-private key pair to ensure all communication are securely encrypted. Through inter-process communication, your dApp and MetaMask exchange public keys, facilitating encrypted JSON RPC calls. This secure communication channel is crucial for maintaining the integrity and confidentiality of the data exchanged between your dApp and MetaMask. This diagram also highlights the dual components of MetaMask Android SDK, the client SDK, which is integrated into your dApp, and the server SDK, embedded within the MetaMask wallet. The complex communication flow, which uses AIDL for JSON RPC calls over IPC, enables your dApp to connect securely with MetaMask. This method complies with the high security standards necessary in the blockchain. Integrating MetaMask into your Android app is really simple. First up, we add the SDK as a dependency in our project's Gradle file. Then, we use Ethereum object in our code. That's all it takes to get your app ready to connect with MetaMask and interact with Ethereum blockchain. Let's kick off our setup by creating a basic Android app using the Android Studio Wizard. First thing first, we are going to add the MetaMask SDK dependency to our Gradle file. This is like giving our app the keys to talk to MetaMask. Next up, we will bring in the Ethereum object from MetaMask into our app. To make the Ethereum object work, we need to resolve its dependencies. It needs an Infura token. 
Let's zip over to Infura website to get one. It's pretty straightforward. Sign up or log in if you already got an account. Hit the create new project button. Once your project is up, you can use its token in the Android app. Back in Android Studio. The wizard has already created an activity class for us. This is where all our user interface elements will reside. To keep things organized, we will also add a view model class. This is not for logs. It's where we will manage our interaction with MetaMask and the blockchain. So, now let's create a simple user interface. A button, when clicked, call MetaMask to connect our DAP and a text to show the valid balance. Now we reach the exciting part, the view model class. In this section, we will write the code that connect us to MetaMask. We will manage our app's state, which include checking our connection and balance. Here is the plan. First step is to creating two Kotlin flow to interact with our UI. One for emitting UI events, like showing a toast message, and the other one to keep our UI state if it get updated. Second, create a function for our button action. This will interact with MetaMask, requesting it to connect with our DAP. After connecting, we will retrieve the valid balance and update our UI state. And there you have it. By following these steps, we are setting up a clean way for our DAP to talk with MetaMask and Ethereum blockchain. Now let's get to the exciting part. Press the build and run button. This will compile our app and launch it to your emulator and connected device. Once the app is launched, press the connect button. This will trigger MetaMask and prompt you to connect to a wallet. After connecting with MetaMask, the app will display a toast message and the wallet balance. We started from the initial concepts all the way to connecting MetaMask with our Android decentralized application. We have done the building. If you are eager to dive into the source code, it's ready for you on GitHub. I'm Ali and here is the Otaku channel. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to learn more about blockchain and Android development. If you have any question or thought, write it down in the comment section. See you in the next video and happy coding!